as we use different pieces to build robots, it's important to think about building sturdy structures. That is, structures that are stable and sound. First, we'll talk about using the beams and pins. So when combining beams together and using the little black connector pins, if you connect it with just one pin, you find that the beam rotates freely and is not very structurally sound. But by combining it with a second pin, this structure is now much more sound, doesn't bend, and also can be useful for using multiple beams to span a longer distance. Second, we'll talk about different types of shapes. Specifically, talking about triangles and squares. Combining three beams together into a triangle shape, again using black connector pins and in this case a longer blue connector pin, you can build triangle shapes which are very structurally sound and so when you're combining beams together think about cross bracing with a triangular structure. In comparison to that, building squares, here's a square that's built out of four beams using the black connector pins at the corners, is actually not structurally sound and actually very easily can be deformed by um, tilting one side to the other. However, it's possible to reinforce these corners to ensure that it stays at the desired 90 degrees. Here I've done that using a variety of different techniques. On this corner, an L-shaped beam. Here, a angled connector. The T-shaped piece here. And even using, for instance, a gear with multiple pins uh, creates these structurally sound 90 degree angles for squares. Speaking of squares, there's actually two that come in the kit, the Technic squares. These look like this. They're very helpful because they're pre-built squares that use the Technic beams and have holes on them at different angles. These are great for connecting onto the motors. You can see that they fit onto the motors in a whole variety of different ways. So you should explore how to use them in conjunction with the motor. And in addition, they can be combined together here using different pins to easily and quickly create 3D shapes that are also very structurally sound. Finally, we'll talk about axles and beams. So of course, axles can be connected to beams using the bushings. And by connecting, in fact, two together in such a format and using the bushings to hold them in place, you can create structurally sound shapes such as this one. This carriage shape is also helpful if, for instance, you're attaching wheels as the beams uh, have the axles going through them and allow it to rotate freely. 